All right, guys, what is up? It is Gnomes. I'm here in a game between Ball Baller and Insane. We have Ball Baller here on the left-hand side. He'll be the one playing SL Draxar, it looks like. And on the right-hand side, we have Insane playing ST Longs. Pretty cool to see. Uh, two themed battle groups and two pretty good players. I'm not positive who Insane is. He might be an alt or just, you know, got good after playing now for a bit more. Um, but I think he's pretty, pretty all right, I think. And his battle group is also not bad either. So he has the uh, Longs Chieftain with the Camaraderie. So he's getting a bit Nora back. He has this Reigns Champion um, who can now kind of wail away on the... Uh, even though, okay, I guess... thing is, this is what you have to think about. If you're first turn on this map, then it's good to go ranged. If you're not and they play non-range, then it's not exactly that good. Because now the Sand Lord, if he wants to, can just move in on the Wanderer. And the Wanderer with that 4-5 range is not going to have a good time trying to disengage, especially on this map. Exactly. Because on this map, you can never, like, move to the side, attack once, and then move back in. Like, you can't do that here. You can only go back, attack, and go in, and you would need mobility for that. So when you're going turn two, or, I mean, when you're going second, and they deploy melee, you generally also want to play melee. Only if they play ranged, then you could play ranged. But then it's also iffy, just because if they play range and they hit you first, then they'll win the, the late game, right? Or they'll win the trade because they're attacking first, um, unless you have a superior range champion. But here, like now, what is this Wanderer going to do? Oh, this is sand, by the way, this here. This terrain is all sand. All right, there's the pull. So he's going to elect to use the pull, and now this does mean that the Wanderer can double tap and also cause that crippled. But on the downside, um, now he's not getting his font, right? He's going to be down a turn for taking his font. He could. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually engage here with the Howler. Because that way it makes it harder for this, cause the Sand Lord, Stalker Lord to get back in here. And he doesn't double tap. He only has seven, or 6 speed, not 7. Strong champion, though. 79 Nora for some good base stats, but then look at this. You have Sand Striker, but because of the, um, and Domain, no, okay, good. Uh, you have Trail Sand and Sand Striker, so you're always at plus five damage. Yeah, there's the double tap, by the way. And the Engage, all right, well played. That, this is exactly what I would have done, just the Engage to, um, because he can always use the Sonic Roar next turn. And getting into the Swamp will actually make him lose, actually, no, you can just move it this way, yeah. So he, I'm guessing with the Sand Striker Lord, he'll stay here. And then just move in with the spell sword, right? Because that way you're not losing AP with the um, move in on the font. Because you, you are at zero anyway, so you don't lose AP for moving in. And this champion will just leave here attacking. It's pretty tanky, so it's hard to kill. Cripple does help, though, against him. But next turn we'll just see a Sonic Roar, and then he'll be kind of stuck here. He can run away next turn when there's no more snow terrain. But yeah, next turn we'll just see the Sonic Roar, I'm guessing. We might even see an equip into a kill, right? That would probably work as well. Equip and then kill with triple tap. Yeah, true. He has to watch out here. Sandstalker Lord might be dead. And then if he gets the Nora Globe, it will be a kill. Plus he gets the Nora Globe for basically no damage. Because he'll do 17 to the Howler and that's it. If he dies next turn. So what is Baller going to do to prevent this? Because he has now two champions that are very far away from his one other. This is actually a really good pull then, in this case. I didn't even think about how like well a like, good idea that was. I thought he was just going to go top, but actually this is just such a good play. Because now the Sand Cycler is kind of like up for grabs. It kind of just like caught out, right? Baller's thinking though, it's 35 seconds left. But yeah, one equip gives him the multi-attack, so he double taps, he double taps. Also, ooh, true, the Healing Mind actually makes it so that any damage the Sand Cycler Lord does will be reduced by 10. Right, so he'll do 17, but with this double tap and the healing mind, he'll heal back for 10. All right, so, so he is going to engage here, and that means that he loses all his AP. He might still be dead because he's, yeah, he's at, he still has the 1 4 range. The only thing that's not happening now is the Wanderer can't double tap easily. He moves up actually very far with the Vex, though. But yeah, let's see. Can he get this kill? Probably not, right? I mean, oh, but he also has the armaments. That makes things even stronger. Yeah, there's the equip. 
Locks Bone Charm. Gives them Pounce plus Blood Rage. Does he have the skill? I don't think so. He need. I mean, actually, he has attack with him, right? One, two, three, four. He does. And he's at two defense because of this Trail Sand. He wants to get out of this, or because of the uh, Desert Font or Desert Master. He wants to get out of the Sand Terrain. Because he gave, he gave one defense over. He still has the Blood Rage, but... Hmm. Couldn't... No. If he uses a spell, it's a kill. And because it's a Blood Rage, so it's only 1 AP, he can actually get the Norglobe as well. But he has to use a spell here. And he still doesn't have his, his font, right? Because he has to double tap then. So he'll be down 24 Nora for not having his font. All right, that's fine too. He can just exactly just... Um, just Sonic Roar and now get his font. Yeah, wow, guys. Good plays. Good ideas. Just like thought process-wise, these are good plays, right? He kept him trapped. Now he's still kind of doing nothing, right, at 32 health. And there's really not much cleanse in SL. Now he can run away five spaces, um, but oh, because it was only a pounce, he actually still has his one five range, because it wasn't an attack. It wasn't an attack, he still has pounce, okay, okay. And then we can see like a pilfer into a toss equipment. So he can pilfer the um, bone charm, Pounce himself and then toss it back onto the Howler to give him again the three damage from the Long's armaments or Savage armaments. Sorry. What's he gonna do here? Now he has his font. It's four versus four. I mean, this is obviously a super strong champion because look, you have Defender plus Battlemaster, so you're giving three defense to a faction that already has extreme amount of defense. And if you have another Legionnaire, you can go um, Enduring Aura, and you have even more. Like, I like going Enduring Aura just because you have the other Draxar, what's called the Shrine, Shrine Defender dude. Attacks once. Actually, oh, okay. Bloodthirsty Blade. But we have Pilfer, dude. Yeah, we have Pilfer. He's just going to take it away, and then he's dead, right? It says target. I didn't know this was target. Destroy equipment on target champion within two spaces. If this champion is unequipped, equip on this champion a copy of that equipment if possible. So he'll just take away the um, Bloodthirsty Blade, kill, and then he'll have it himself, right? Exactly. Uh, There you go. There's the Pilfer. Boom. Takes away the Bloodthirsty Blade. Has it himself now. And then he can still double tap with the Wanderer for the extra health healing. Yeah, that was just misplayed by Baller. He thought like, oh, okay, I'm kind of losing. Let me just use the Bloodthirsty Blade. I'm, I, I'm not even sure if he's dead though. He's at 32 health. With, actually, he's at one defense only, so three minus, so 11 is seven, right? Or sorry, uh, eight. So that's 16 plus 16 is 32. Oh, he's a perfect kill. He's a perfect kill with these two double taps. Or yeah, okay, now he's gonna move in for the commander. So now it's even better. So now he even has it easier. And like I said, he's healing here for 10 because it's a double, he heals for 10 with the healing mind. He will lose his stacks though. The preparation stacks are gone now. But, I mean, it's worth it, right? He also doesn't get this Noro Globe. He's one off to get the Noro Globe, too. The one AP off. He he kind of wants to get the kill with the Facilitator just to keep the, um, the cooldown to go. But, oh, okay. So he uses the, bl uh, the Blood Rage here, actually. Because that gives him the Noro Globe now. Okay, good play.
gets the Nor Globe and is able to now retreat a bit with the Long um, Howler. And obviously, the Facilitator can kind of just stay here because it's immune or it's impervious. I mean, does he have an attack? He has one. No, he's yeah, he only has one attack. Okay, Vex has a one tap on the Howler. Command Dodge, he did not use yet. See, he has to go over Lava to attack here. So he could attack the Howler once with him, once with him. But that's it. And that would be 13 plus... Wait, how much defense? Yeah, 13 plus 17 is exactly 30. He needs four more damage. And then he gets this kill. Thing is, even if he kills this Howler, he's not getting the Nora Globe, right? Because he has to move all... And he's taking eight damage on the Lava. So yeah, he can... Exactly. It's a perfect kill, like I said, but he takes the lava damage, and his he doesn't get the Nor Globe, and his spell sword is in a bad position. So it's not exactly a good idea to get this kill. Maybe with the spell it's okay, but what spell does 17 damage, right? Yeah, exactly. So he's gonna not go in. And now it's five versus four. We have the command dodge coming up to help against Vex for a bit. But Vex is obviously kind of a, a tank. Like, how do you kill this thing? It has Jadonic Force, so it's plus two damage here. So plus six actually right now. Two from Battlemaster, and then four from the Jadonic Force. But yeah, we're gonna see the command dodge come up. I'm guessing. Oh, does he have pull up again? No. I mean, not. I don't think pull will really work here anyway. He doesn't have enough damage out. He needs a. Okay. It looks like he is pulling. Pulling the Vex. Okay, does he have knockback? Does he have Gale Force to knock back into the spell sword maybe? He could also knock back the Vex forwards three spaces. And that would put him over the lava. If he does it here. Alright. He has double tap with the facility, does he? No, he's one off. Yeah, he's one off to get the double tap with all these champions, actually. He can't double tap. And he can't. He's most at one, yeah. He should have I think he took he was way too quick with his turn. Here. He doesn't I don't he has pounce. Ah, oh, okay, there's the equipment. Alright, now look at that. 20 damage. Oh, he moved out of range of commander though. A bit of a misplay. He's gonna move back into range or no? He can't. There's the commander. I ah, wanted to move into range of the pounce range. Nicely done. So he moves. There you go, GG, crazy play. I don't know who Insane is, but he did really well. So I was wondering why he moved that commander forwards like that, but it's because he wanted the pounce to get the commander damage, I think. That's pretty crazy, GG.